We're now going to look at division. Division can often be a main problem and, uh, for students. And there are several different ways that have been taught. In this video, we're going to look at the three versions that have been taught. Okay? Um, there are going to be different versions of division that you may well have met or encountered before, but these are the three main ones that I've heard of. The first one is known as chunking, and it isn't one that I would really suggest you use at GCSE level. So let's say we want to do 565 divided by 5. Okay? So 565 divided by 5, and here's the chunking method. It's usually set out in a similar way to this. And what you want to do is you say to yourself, well, okay, 565 divided by 5. I know that 100 fives go into 565. So I can already say 100 fives go into it. That's 500. And now I do a subtraction. 565 take away 500. 5 take away 0 is 5. 6 take away 0 is 6. 5 take away 5 is 0. I'm left with a 65. Then I think to myself, okay, well, 65, I know I can fit 10 lots of 5 into that, because 10 lots of 5 is 50. And then we do a sudden other subtraction. 5 take away 0 is 5. 6 take away 5 is 1. 15. Ah, right. Now I know that 15 has 3 5s in it. So I can do 3 times 5 is 15. 15 take away 15 is 0. So my answer is 100 plus 10 plus 3. So the answer is 113. And that is the chunking method. It is, can and can be, quite laborious. And it isn't quick. It does make sense. That's its one bonus point. But if you're having to deal with something like 10 divided by 3, or other such divisions, this method starts to break down and becomes very troublesome indeed. And it isn't the one that I would suggest you use. I would only suggest you use this in dire circumstances. <laughs> this is the best way of putting it. Right. The next method is long division. Long division is called as such because it can take up quite a length of the board. It's set up in the bus stop, like this, and works in the way that you do fives into fives, so you're always working from the left to the right. Fives into five goes once. 1 times 5 is 5. 5 take away 5 is 0. Bring the 6 down. 5 into 6 goes once. 1 times 5 is 5. 6 take away 5 is 1. Bring the 5 down. 5 into 15 go 3 times. 3 times 5 is 15. 15 take away 15 is 0. And so we have remainder 0. So this is long division, and we get to our same answer, 113. This also isn't a method I would suggest you use, just because it can be put in a much neater, a much nicer form, using the next method, short division. Short division looks very similar, and in fact is using all the same... Um, calculations, but some of them you just do in your head. So working from the left to the right, fives to five goes once. Fives into six goes once, remainder one. Fives into fifteen go three. So in comparison to the other two methods, this is so quick and so easy to employ that it is so much better than 
chunking or long division. So in the next video I'm going to go through examples of this showing you how it works.